Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, anyway, we do have a new model in store. It's the Skynet T800 series, and it's got basically everything, including AI integration with ChatGPT and all that jazz. Would you like me to get some prizes for you? Hi, welcome to the new year with AI Late to Class. This episode is mostly updates. So for those of you that have been following my channel, you'll be able to just download the models and start running them right away. If you're new to open source generation, Comfy etc., I'll show you which of my videos you need to watch to get going. Most of this video will be based on the intro video, which was Stable Video Infinity Avatar, which gives the best no-join infinite length talking avatar I've ever seen. Another update is Queen 2512 image. This is not image edit like 2511 that was released recently, where you could edit other images, but this is a new text to image model that is very good. The last update I want to talk about is Flux 2 Turbo, which has been needed for a long time as Flux 2 dev just took too long to generate and I just gave up. So if you've got nothing else to do at this time of year, stay watching. If you haven't got ConfUI installed or you know nothing about it, go here and watch this tutorial. It will show you everything you need to know. Even though it's for 1, 2.2, it will help you with Queen, Flux 2, etc. We'll start with Flux 2 first. This is the dev GGUF version that I've got a tutorial on my channel. Watch this first and then you can go on to this next bit. This is the Flux 2 Turbo Hugging Face page. Got some samples here. But if you've used it before, you know what you're doing. Just go over to Files and Versions. And you can see down here, download this and put this in your LoRa's folder. From my last video on Flux 2 Dev, the only difference I've done to the workflow is add in this LoRa loader here. And we just put in the LoRa that we've just downloaded. And that's all we need to do. Because this is an 8-step LoRa, I've changed my steps here to 8. And I've changed my CFG to 2.5. I'll have this workflow for download in the comments anyway, so don't worry about having to change though. In the prompt, I've just asked for her to fold her arms. It's got a good result here. Nothing else has changed apart from there's a slight color difference. So I'll show you how we might be able to fix that. So I've got my color almost the same now, and I've done this with this image color match node here. I'm going to do a tutorial later on on color matching nodes, but I'll just show you what I connected this to. So originally, Let's just pull all this off. We first get this image here and put it into reference. And then we get this image here, put that there, and click that onto there. So a long generation at 3 minutes 57 seconds on my 16 gig VRAM. But it's less than 50% of the time that it took before we used this 8 step LoRa. Next update is Queen Image 2512 which has just released their new image model. Coming down here. And you can have a look at the leaderboard here. It's number four on the leaderboard. Notice that Z image is number seven and the old queen image is number nine. So what makes it better? It's got better human realism, natural detail and text rendering. Let's go down and look at these samples down the bottom here. More lifelike facial features. The colors are better, so not so much like normal AI. Better closeness to instructions can definitely see a difference here between those two. Then we've got final natural. I mean this one does look AI definitely. Whereas this one a little bit harder to tell. As you can see those waves there. Now look at that. This dog here more finer. The lighting is better here. To get started with this. Watch my original video on Queen Image. And that will show you what you need to install. And what models you need to download. And this is the new Queen Image 2512 GGUF, so click on here and choose an appropriate version. I'm using this Q5KS one, so click download here and put that in your Diffusion Models folder. Now we have both a Light X to V LoRa for this, and we have a Turbo LoRa, so I'm going to show you the results with both of these. So I'm going to be using the prompt I did in my original Queen Image tutorial, and that's the picture there. So let's look at the result. How much cleaner and nicer this is. Right, this is using the Light X to V LoRa. Such a massive quality difference between these two images. Because I'm using the original workflow, I'm just changing my model here 
and my lightning Laura here so now I'm going to change this to the turbo version and here's the turbo one I like this a lot better than the light X2V here's the two side by side there's my turbo and there's my light X2V I just find the tones in this one a lot better than that but they're pretty close here's where you get your turbo Laura now I've chosen this version here the comfy eye version click download there and put that in your Laura's folder here's where you get your light x2v version I've got this fp32 version click download light x2v took 30 seconds and my turbo version took 34 seconds so there's not much in it I wanted to see what z image would do with the same prompt and it looks a bit jagged around the fur here's my turbo version versus the z image you can see quite a lot better image than what z image can do being nine steps z image took a minute and three seconds here's my gart photo realism i've got a woman wearing a white cocktail mini dress flowers on it standing up near the grand canyon and that's my result using the light x2v and here's my turbo version which is a lot better here they are side by side this is my turbo version here's my light x2v the turbo is clearly better this is what's going to make me delete my original Quinn image model. Here's my Z image version, still not too bad. I just added text to the prompt to see how well it would do, and it's done pretty good at that. And here's the turbo version. Now, using this model should bypass the reason for using the Quinn realism, Laura. Lastly, let's look at long cap video avatar. So, this is not really an update, but a different version of long cap video by making an avatar version. So using multi-talk embedded in so that you can do long videos with talking without those joins. Now this website's so full of cool examples, I can't show all of them as you can see how many there are there, but let's just have a look. <laughs> I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you! God. That's it? I'm still here! I went with a film, an Australian film that was in the marketplace. So I got in to see the ice storm, and I'd, bar I'd borrowed a frock. Yes. Mr. Willis's testimony is not only vague, it is unsubstantiated. The substance I was looking for, Mr. Sims, was to come from you. I am left with no real witness. Mr. Willis's testimony is not only vague, it is unsubstantiated. And there's many more singing examples on here. I'm not going to go through them. Underneath that is some podcast examples. It clearly does not replicate a lot of what humans are good at doing, which I think says something about the value of SAT tests or whatever else. But I think had you gone back to, if we were having this conversation the day of GPT-4 launch and we told you how GPT-4 did at those things, you were like, oh man, this is going to have huge impacts and some negative impacts on what it means for... They've got sales examples on here. Wow, this mala flavor is seriously irresistible. Look how this chip is completely coated in seasoning powder. It is super crispy with every bite. Cuddling up with this big bag while binge watching shows, you really can't stop. Fused with pure vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, just two drops every morning gives you that eight hours of sleep look instantly. It's deep hydration that feels like magic, not chemicals. You've got this multi-person example here. So if you're like me, you've been uh, pretty much mesmerized by this explosion of text-to-video tools we've been seeing. Oh, absolutely. But today, we are going way beyond just those short, flashy clips. We're going to unpack the foundational model that could be behind the next generation of all of this, long cat video. That's right. And this model is, I mean, it's seriously ambitious. We're lacking 13.6 billion parameters, and the creators are really positioning it as the backbone for future, you know. And there's a five-minute example on the website. They've got some examples of text to video with a prompt there and image to video with the prompts there and the audio provided. They also had very good examples of infinite talk versus long cat avatar. So first of all, watch my long cat video and that one will show you all the things that you need to install and how to set it up in Comfy UI. If you can't get it running on your computer, you can use this Hugging Face version. Here's the FP8 version you need to download for Comfy UI. And you need this long cat distilled Laura Alpha 64. Download that, put it in your Laura's folder. Drag the wet flow in. Here's our long cat avatar model here. There's how distill Laura Alpha 64. I've got our block swap at 20. It works on my computer. If it's running out of memory, turn that up to maybe 32. 
got clip vision h we don't really need it it's in there anyway here's our one 2.1 vae there's our text encoder now you should have watched the previous video to know where to put these and where to get them but i will have the links in the comments anyway here's our resolution 512 by 512 and here's our frames each section 77 with the overlap of 13 frames upload your image here and underneath put in your audio for the audio you also need this model here there's the link to that and you can put it in your diffusion models folder just like your normal models don't need to worry about this one because as you can see it's got download there so it automatically downloads that model for you in this case i just kept the default prompt that's got a young woman is standing in front of an audience on stage with a microphone in her hand giving a long speech now if you have issues getting this installed either by the manager or you're doing git pull into like the one video wrapper directory the best way is to like delete the one video directory completely and then git clone it back into the comp ui custom nodes folder your first 77 frame chunk will come out under this video combined and you'll see here there is another four more segments after that you can copy and paste and keep adding more and go on infinitely so here is my result um anyway we do have a new model in store it's the skynet t800 series and it's got basically everything including ai integration with chat gpt and all that jazz would you like me to get some prizes for you on my 16 gig vram that took 81 minutes so quite a long time so really you want your audio to be the guide of how many of these blocks it goes through in this case it's a 16 second audio clip and i've got five blocks there to make your audio you can go on hugging face spaces there's this new one called soprano tts and that one is realistic voices and we can also use the one i use which was chatterbox turbo hope you found this video useful i'll be getting rid of my queen image original model and using this instead and for my talking avatars i'm definitely going to use long cat even for the shorter clips it just seems a lot better quality just no glitchiness as i've seen with the multi-talk infinite talk sort of thing anyway watch all my old videos and like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one as i'll have another updates video coming out soon